Horse racing at events like the Durban July and the Met are often a sideshow to the glitz and glamour. The King's Plate is also a highlight on the social calendar. This time around, the focus is going back to the sport itself, especially the women participating in this year's event. With that story is ENCA's Justin Ford. Horse racing is still considered to be a male-dominated sport. The La Morans King's Plate is looking to change that. An all-female race, the Okapis Ladies International, will start the 162nd running of the event. So we have a lot of ladies that ride every day, but to transform into the everyday track work has, has been quite hard. But the girls have been very game and uh, they haven't said no to anything. They, they're more than happy to try anything new and, and pull up their irons and get going. And I think that's been the biggest task is, uh, you know, most people sit long when they ride. So getting into the starting stalls, you have to pick your irons up very short. We've had a lot of help from the trainers. They've got to give these, these unknown people um, horses to ride. Omira Rusike is one of a few jockeys in the sport. Born in Zimbabwe, she travelled to Durban and Cape Town to pursue her dream. With some assistance, she now lives in the United Kingdom, doing what she loves. I started when I was 18 years old, when my dad uh, saw a newspaper article asking about they wanted uh, jockeys, like females and males as well. So it was just after I finished my school and um, I was working as a field attendant. I've never been close to a horse for 18 years. I've never, well, I've been to a race. We've got something called the OK Green Challenge in Zimbabwe, which is like our biggest race, but I've never really gotten close to a horse. And I was like, oh, that's fine. I can do it. Many of her competitors never experienced this before and started training in October 2022. Their hope is to inspire many more to saddle up. It is really a great opportunity for especially the ladies. As we all know, it's a male-dominant sport. It's going to open the eyes of other young ladies, young girls who also want to pursue their dreams as a jockey. And also I would like to think that, you know, some schools need to like introduce being a jockey. Look at Holly Doyle. She's doing amazing. Look at Hayley Turner. They're doing amazing. Look at Michelle Payne. She did amazing. A full program is expected at the Kenilworth Racecourse. But it will be the Queens looking to start off the King's Plate in style. Justin Ford, Cape Town.